So on my way back from, let's see, where's Kennett Square? Kennett Square. I'm not going to show it on it right here. Kennett Square. So we come from there. Hold on. Where's the route? Where's the route? I don't want to see Lancaster. Anyhow, come across 76. I'm clear over here at this point. Still got to go clear right here. I got a long ways to go. Strong head moving, so. Alright, boys. I'm big Red are pulling back into the complex here at my mom and dad's. And like we got three or four inches of snow up here did not get that out east and apparently somebody was shoveling just for ha -has. I don't even know why you would shovel yeah whatever but uh, yeah me and Big Red did uh, probably about 575 miles in the last two days We were pushing a very strong headwind coming home, so uh, I lost three miles to the gallon. So that was not fun, so I burned double the amount of fuel coming home. $71 worth of fuel to go out to uh, the blow in at Rich's, and definitely have to thank Rich and everybody else who comes out for that uh, for putting it on and letting us in his shop for a day two days but uh me and big red are out it's eight and it's a little after eight i think gps says 815 almost seventy thousand miles on the old girl not a lick of trouble ran uh the whole time and i can't complain about it i'm definitely i'm really not that tired <laughs> kind of when I come up over the last set of mountains there and run into the the snow and the roads were were wet and stuff, I was kind of uh, I was kind of on guard since it's so cold out and 16 degrees right now at the house. So okay, I'm tired. I'm rambling, guys. So uh, hopefully this will be uh, the last segment for the blow in 2020. Nope, 2020. 2022. Shows you how tired I am. But uh, yeah, another good year. A lot of fun. I even got to run an Imperial D. Well, I even ran a Model D for the first time. I really hope Ralph got a video of that. So, anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch everybody in the next video. Maybe I'll be in the shop. Later. Well, guys, it's uh, actually two days after the blow in 2022. Finally getting out here to uh, unload my truck. I spent yesterday trying to edit the videos together, but uh, what I have bought, and actually there's a piece in the back seat for this, I'll have to get, but I bought another 424 motor, and it has the uh, belt cover on it, and I know and have heard this motor run before. It had a stuck valve, he unstuck it from what he told me. The head and the head bolts are just sitting on here, but they all seem tight, so. But uh, I think uh, I gave $100 for this this whole complete motor, which I think is reasonable. I'm sure I could buy one for $0.50 cents somewhere, but... <sighs> to uh, give me a project for later, and I know uh, Ralph had a name whenever I left, and I can't remember what he said, but it was something to do with the 4 424 and something. Was it ST424? I don't know, maybe he'll throw that in the comments down here, but uh, had a great time at the blow-in. It's a long drive, and especially it's even windy here again today. That's what made it challenging. Now I'm going to go down and uh, wash all the salt out of the, off my truck and fill it up with fuel, because it's supposed to be 50 and 60 degrees here in the next couple days, and that's going to be it for blow-in footage. Let me get that cover, and then I'll be done. There it is with the bulk cover, just sitting on there. So, uh, I'm gonna get this thing unloaded, see if I can't pull my back out the whole way, and go from there. Guess if I don't feel like it, I could just back up and use that high lift. Yeah. See what I can do. All unloaded, blow in bounty, maybe I'll try and get this running. 
just to hear it run, you know. But uh, like I said, that's going to be it for blow-in footage. Just going to clean up the after effects. This is the uh, welcome to Pennsylvania sort of thing. And I drove a uh, quarter of the way across the state in it. I definitely looked at a place uh, out west because uh, they didn't have any salt on their vehicles. So, All right, fellas and ladies. Catch everybody on the next one. Later. Long, long, get stuck in the yard. We'll be good. Way back home, I was only getting uh, 14.6. Went up to 14.8 the last big hill I coasted down. I got 17 and uh, 17 and a half going out because the tailwind was pushing me. See, this is why I always plow my driveway because. Uh, get a little bit of sun or a little bit of heat it melts off so all right guys catch everybody later well boys got her all cleaned up here looks a lot better at least got the salt off i missed some missed some spots but the main juncture let's get the salt off so uh the old girl shine pretty good now uh over to the fuel station and be a wrap. So, last but not least is the fuel mile calculations. Um, out whenever I filled up, I filled up at 286 miles, uh, right at 19 gallons, that's 15 miles a gallon. Coming back, I went 237 miles, got 18.8 .8 gallons, and that averaged about Twelve and a half miles to the gallon, or a little over. And she was sure pushing a strong headwind, you could tell, because uh, pretty much I went to... What, five, 50 more miles? And got about the same gallons. So, uh, yeah. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the mowing trip. Or mowing trip, blowing trip. Later guys.